Hiya, today we're going to make festive nut roast balls and you don't need a food processor and there's no eggs in it either so it's vegan friendly, okay? And this is what you need. Two OXO veg stock cubes and 18 fluid ounce of water. Four ounce of red lentils, a small onion, um, some black pepper, three ounce of celery that we're going to chop fine, four ounce of chestnut mushrooms, four ounce of carrots that we're going to chop it as well fine and we've got a mixed nut selection there we're going to use four ounces of them there's almonds peanuts cashews and, and pecans in there and we need a bit of butter as well okay so we'll get this prepared and then we'll get back to you right we've measured out our lentils we've got a four ounce we've chopped up our onions quite fine can you see celery again quite fine carrots again quite fine okay um, same again with your mushrooms, quite fine. With your nuts, you're better off. Just get your bag and get your rolling pin, put your four ounce in there and give it a bash. And then when you get them out, if there's any that's not broken down, you can just split them in half from there. Okay, so just have a look through and see what's not broken. You can cut them with scissors, I'll show you. See if you can cut them down with these, so especially the almonds. Because they're a nightmare, you can just trim them up like that. You want them to be quite small. So anything that's missing, do that. Um, and then we'll get back to you. Okay. Right, with these, you don't want anything more than half a centimetre, really, if you're looking at it that way. Any big ones, just chop them down. Right, what we're going to do then is get it stock cubes in here. And a water. And we've rinsed off your lentils, just in cold water, and then... Just, that's all you do, just rinse them through and then I'm just going to put them in here and we're going to put them on there like a simmer and we're just going to get them so they go soft so I'm going to turn that on and let's get these on so that will be about 15-20 minutes when they go soft ok so we'll do that and then we'll get back to you right while you're doing that you're going to get a bit of butter mm -hmm. Probably about a teaspoon's worth, something like that. Or a knob of butter as they call it, whichever. Put it in there. And then you're going to fry off slightly your onion. You might be doing this for about 10 minutes just to get them softer. So you've got your onion, your celery, your mushrooms, and your bits of carrot. Um, so we'll just get these in. Like this. With the carrot, just make sure it's a good four ounce of carrot because the carrot gives it sweetness. You want a good four ounce of carrot. Right, what we're going to do then is just like saute these down for about 10 minutes or so so they go quite soft. Obviously, you just want no more than like half a centimetre chunks of your stuff. Okay, so we'll do that and then we'll get back to you. Okay. Right, while these are cooking, we're going to add some brown black pepper. To each one a good portion of ground on there and a good portion in your lentils okay and then we'll get back to you right your lentils have been on about 15 minutes and can you see they've gone soft so when they've gone soft like that you can feel them if you want and try and then you can stop them um, this has been on about nearly 15 minutes now and you said the smell of this what did you say it smells like it's just a savoury smell, isn't it? It smells really nice, though. It does. It's strange, isn't it? Mm. It could be the chestnut mushrooms that are doing that. We're not sure, are we? No. Um, right, so about 15 minutes or so it is, just so everything starts softening, and then we're going to pop it in there with the nuts, but we'll get back to you in a second, OK? Right, so we've had these on about 15 minutes just over, um, maybe up to 20, but I won't, maybe not. So then we're going to do, we've turned this off, and we're going to put that in with that. And also, can you see? There you can. So all this is just mixing in with the lentil mixture. And we're going to put in nuts in here as well, the chopped nuts. And then we're just going to cook it slightly. So let's just chop them in there. And so we've got another jet on. And just let it cook on the right low heat until it's gone a bit thicker. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get back to you when we've done that, okay? To this mixture, we're just adding a little bit more pepper, okay? And then we're just simmering it down slowly 
maybe about five or ten minutes i'll get back to you when i know the exact okay right so we've added on about 20 minutes this is going quite thick as you can see like that what we're going to do then is turn it off and let it cool down that should go a bit thicker and then we're going to put them into bowls our cameraman can taste this as it is now let's give him a taste hold on no idea what he's expecting here obviously let's give you a it smells good Try not to burn your mouth while you're at it. You get a bit of celery in it as well, because in the bowl you'll get a bit of everything. Yeah. Give it a blow. Have a grimace or whatever. <laughs> Try not to burn your mouth. What flavours have you got going on there? All kinds. It's good, isn't it? It's <laughs> nice a bit up. of everything, isn't Very it? Yeah. Good. Okay. So we're just going to turn that off now, let it cool down and then it'll go a bit harder and then we'll make it into balls and then we'll do it in the oven, okay? Right, we've let it cool for about half an hour and we've also greased with olive oil the um, roasting tray. So what we're going to do is get a good bowl's worth and then we're going to pop them in. And then same again, you can make probably about, what, are they, what size would you say they were, about an inch and a half? Yeah, something like yeah. that you can make probably about 18 bowls with this depends how you want them um, and then we're going to do them um, 10 minutes either side in the oven okay and then we'll get back to you and we've got some cranberry sauce didn't we as well we certainly so, did yeah just have we so we'll get back to you when we've done this okay. right so we've let this cool a bit and we're gonna put them in the oven now um, so we've just done 12 for minutes on there and then we're going to turn them over. So we're just going to do them for 20 minutes, 10 minutes either side at 180 on the middle shelf. This is fan assisted. Okay. So we'll do that get back to you in 10 minutes. Okay. We've had them in 10 minutes. I'm just going to take them out and we're going to turn them over. And then after the other 10 minutes they're going to be ready to serve. Um, just as well when you do them in the pan, just condense them down just a little bit more. Just so that they're quite thick to about... To band together when they're going in so i'm just going to turn them over now do them 10 minutes and then we got some cranberry sauce didn't we Certainly did. for some reason the stuff in the pan was so addictive that we left we ate it all instead of making some more balls <laughs> so we're going to turn these over after 10 minutes okay right we've had a minute 20 minutes we're just going to let you know there's no salt in these nuts at all they're just without salt aren't they because yeah. that's spoiling anyway um and we're just going to get these out And what we're going to do is we'd put them in one of these dishes and serve them with some cranberry sauce like that inside. And then they can have like roast potatoes and the rest of the things with it as well, can't they? Okay. Certainly can. And that's pretty much it. Now we've got them out. You can either serve them in a dish like that with that at the side or on a plate or on the full plate that they have the roast potatoes and everything. Um, and they're really good, aren't they? They certainly are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 